Since Final Cut Studio allows you to work with several applications, it makes sense to create individual folders for the individual assets that each program creates. The strategy is to create some organized folders ahead of time. Start by creating a folder called Final Cut Pro Project. Then create folders for motion projects, color projects, and Soundtrack Pro. If you plan on authoring a DVD, go ahead and create a folder for your DVD assets. You can even assign each folder its own unique color by right-clicking on it. After you've created all your folders, you can use them as templates each time you start a new job. The last step is to take all of your folders and place them inside a master folder that also contains your media from Final Cut Pro. For most of us, that's going to be inside a Capture Scratch folder based on the name of your Final Cut Pro project. Okay, so now each time you're ready to save or export an element, you can send it to a common place. For example, if I'm saving a particle effect from motion, I'll navigate through the hierarchy of folders to save it in the correct place. This makes things easy when you go to backup and archive all your project elements. This short tutorial is designed to complement a series of video tutorials from Genius TV. You can view the master tutorials by visiting GeniusDV.com and clicking on the Tutorials menu to access our rental videos.